what is going on guys um so today's video is gonna be a follow-up to my last one if you haven't seen the first one please go watch it and then come back to this video um that video goes over all the settings and everything you need to use in order to level up your cap faster this video is going to be about the equipment and a smart strategy of going about getting your cap capped so to start off um, I'm just gonna show you the perks and everything I use I use the Duke I use contact 2 power 3 contact 3 and power 2 um, the main reason I'm doing that is because I want my cap to be able to hit I need everything to be his hitting stats need to be as high as possible is what I'm trying to get at um, as you can see though my cap isn't completely maxed yet um, I still need to get his vision up a little bit contact on both sides and his fielding isn't the greatest at the moment but I'll deal I'll deal with that later um, but so equipment wise what I currently use and what I'm going to suggest to everyone to do is use what you get because the market is just completely inflated at the moment you're going to be spending a ridiculous amount of stubs if you I mean if you can afford it do it but if you can't just use what you got and be smart about this process um, but like to start off I'm, I'm using gold sunglasses that I already got um, I'm using the gold Nike Viper sleeve um, face paint just because it gives me plus four contact I'm just using the wrist guard that I have um, batting gloves just use what you got if you're on a budget back grip I have Mike Trout um, suggest doing the Jackie the Jackie program in Diamond Dynasty all you gotta do is get one hit and you can looking at it like the two they're identical like there's no difference the bat just use Shohei it comes with the game plus eight plus eight you need that socks same thing go do the Jackie program plus six speed plus eight steel cleats once again use what you got I got lucky and pulled the Jordan cleats um, these give you the 12 speed but these actually aren't the best cleats out there I will I will actually be telling you guys all the things that you need to purchase in the future Shin guard, use what you got. Um, unless you're due to catch your, I mean, leg guards and chest protector and mask don't really matter. Um, the glove I use is the A2000. And elbow guard, I just use what I got. All right, now I will be going over exactly the best and everything that you need to have in order to have your cap maxed. Alright guys, so now I'm going to go over what actually is the best of the best for the equipment wise. Um, like back grip we already went over, just you get one of the diamonds, they're all the same. I suggest just doing the Jackie program. It's free, it's one hit, and you're done with the program. Um, batting gloves, this is when it gets starts getting expensive. So the the batting gloves that you need to get are the Easton ones. The only issue with them, the Easton Pro Collection, they're 22k. Um, and if you're on a budget, this can get pricey really quick. Um, for the cleats, because we already went over the bats, just catcher's mask chest protector doesn't really matter for the cleats the ones that you need to get are the adidas afterburner cleats 14 speed 10 steel 8 reaction i mean the ones that i have aren't bad um 
they're not the best though because obviously you want the ones that give you the fastest speed um but these are 34k the compression sleeve that you want pretty obvious you want the evo shield one but it's 22k elbow guards you actually want this one the evo shield pro srz 2.0 this one gives you a little bit more um, discipline and duration than just the regular Pro SRZ. Um, eyewear, the, the sunglasses you want are the Oakley ones. They're just 32K. That's the only issue about them. The glove, you, the glove that you want, um, all the diamond ones are pretty good. But the one that I would suggest getting is the Wilson A2K. Um, it's plus 13 fielding. It's not a bad choice. Um, and then this is the most important part of, of, of it all. The ritual. You need, and I can't stress this enough, you need Legendary Call on your cap. I clearly don't have it. I don't put money into the game. So I'm not going to spend 50k to have Legendary Call. But it's obviously the smartest and it makes your guy just a hitting free because it's plus 8 power, plus, plus 8 contact on both sides of the plate. Like, it makes a huge difference in your cap. Um, shin guards, pretty obvious. You want the Evo Shield. Pro, um, the Pro SRZ 2.0, but it's 26K. Socks, just do the Jackie program, get one hit. But yeah, um, oh, and for the wrist guard, pretty obvious you want the Evo Shield, it's 20K though. Um, I'm not going to do the math for you, I'm going to roughly estimate this. I'm thinking it's around in the range of 150 to 200k to have the best of the best of everything um i do not suggest for you to put money into the game and get all that stuff right away um just do what i do use what you have i mean my dude still rakes i'll i'll show you guys my guy um he act he has pretty good stats and he's not even capped yet um once this loads i'll be able to show you like he's got 108 contact versus right 105 versus left 115 and 113 power and that's still a beast of a card and that's going to do significance at the plate regardless of being completely maxed or not um one day i do want him to be completely capped um i mean i still have to grind some base attributes and everything and road to the show but the market is just ridiculous and i just don't suggest you uh spending the stubs or the money in fact uh to get it done right away when if you just wait a month or two the market will be much cheaper and you'll be able to get this process done much quicker but yeah this is uh the follow-up video from the last one um i hope you guys enjoy please leave a like and subscribe below